I don't have an agenda that I'm going to push through. It'll be up to the council to decide uh, how it uh, fulfills the strategies that are already in place and what more they bring to the councils. And I'm really looking forward to this council. I think there's a making of a, the makings of a very good council. I think the one we've just had has been the best in my time. Uh, plenty of diversity and this uh, continuation of that diversity. In fact, more. There's a better gender balance this time. So I, I think this is a, it has the makings of a very good council. It's uh, our job collectively to reach consensus on the way forward for the city. Uh, the, the community has said, uh, we trust you with this. We, uh, we, we, we've entrusted you with this job. It's our job to get together and come up with a coherent set of policies that take the city forward, and we will. I think that over the last uh, two terms, I've led councils that have achieved a considerable amount. We've achieved a considerable amount both in the economic field, but also um, in a number of other areas like uh, arts and culture uh, and the strategies that we've put in place. We've um, dealt to debt pretty comprehensively and we're still doing it. We've um, put some real fiscal discipline in place so that uh, even though we had to invest, we still kept rate rises below where we said we would. So we've kept our promises. And I think we've been, uh, you know, all of the incumbent councillors have been returned. Uh, so the community has said, yep, you, said, you did what you said you'd do. Uh, we'll give you another go. Yeah, I think, and I've said this um, during the campaign, the, the challenges ahead are, I think, threefold. Uh, or fourfold, actually. The first is the financial challenges won't go away. We know that we've got constraints and we know we're going to keep pushing the debt down and, we're going to, and I, I would like to keep uh, doing that. Uh, I think, you know, you can say, well, regardless of the strategies, the fact is the strategies guide what we do. And it's about prioritising within those strategies. They've been agreed with the community. Uh, the next thing is uh, the effects of climate change on um, rising groundwater and sea level rise. We know that's affecting us. You know, all the outside authorities are telling us that. The data we're collecting from with the regional councils telling us that that is going to be the, the focus or a major focus of this council for the next two decades. And I think the last one is um, a little more um, concrete, and that's housing. I think we've got to take a good hard look at the housing quality in Dunedin and what impact uh, the fact that it's the oldest and some of the coldest in the country and what impact that it has on our ability to attract the kind of people we need to attract to the city to keep it developing. Oh, there's a number of, th there's a number of areas where we may uh, impact. We've got, we've, we've got responsibilities around social housing. We've got re regulatory responsibilities around uh, the standard of housing. If we can get um, minimum standards for rental housing, that will be a big step up. Would that be a warrant of fitness or similar? Uh, something similar to and that. would that be a national thing or a local thing? Um, I don't care. Um, whatever way we can do it, but we need to lift, as I've said, it's against the law to sell food that makes people sick. It should be against the law to sell accommodation that makes people sick. It's not good for our community uh, and we want to change it.